Hakeem with Autofix Pals. Today we have ourselves a 2006 Nissan Altima with the customer complaining that their car will crank and crank and crank, but it will not start. We have verified the customer's complaint and we do indeed have a 2006 Altima that does not start. The first thing that you guys should get into a habit of doing with any vehicle that is a no start issue is to pay attention to the bulb check. When you turn the ignition switch to the on position and the engine is not running, any modern vehicle will do what is called a bulb check for the most essential systems such as powertrain control, which will be your check engine light or service engine soon light, the ABS traction control light, the airbag slash SRS light, etc, etc. You can use this as a primary check to, as a preliminary check to find out which modules are online and communicating or potentially not communicating. Now with that said, the first thing I noticed with this Altima was a missing check engine light with the key in the on position and the engine off. My next step was to do an all system scan using the consult and see which modules are talking and as you can see from the screen, our powertrain control module is giving us a silent treatment. Yes, there is the potential for other modules to be offline because we only see three modules on the list. However, these modules are not likely to be what's causing our no start issue. Being that every electrical component on the vehicle needs power and ground to operate, my next step was to pull a power supply diagram and check the powers and grounds to the engine control module. Starting at the top left of the power supply diagram for the engine control module, you will see fuse number 1, which is a 10 amp fuse and supplies power to pin 109 at the engine control module. Being that it's much easier to check the integrity of the fuse than it is to pull the engine control module out and back probe at pin 109, that is exactly what I did. The fuse is good and current can flow at least across fuse number 1. Moving over to the right a little at the IPDM, the Intelligent Power Distribution Module, you will see fuse number 35, which is a 15 amp fuse and this supplies power to both the coil side and the switch side of the ECM relay. So I performed the same check at fuse 35 and the IPDM that I did at fuse number 1 in the fuse block and the results were a good fuse that is capable of carrying some current. Now this part is based purely on experience with Nissans and knowing that in the past Nissan had some issues with their ECM relays failing prematurely and causing issues similar to what we have right now. So I simply pulled the ECM relay out and swapped it with the relay next to it to see if the check engine light came back on during the bulb check that I mentioned earlier in the video. Sadly this did not resolve our issue so further testing must be done. So moving right along, I think it's a good idea to check our power and grounds directly at the ECM and according to the power and ground supply diagram that Nissan hid from us, I mean supplied in the service manual, we have 7 pins that we need to test for their ability to carry current and the presence of power and ground. Pin number 109 which is a red wire, Nissan put R there to indicate red which seems pretty logical. Yes we do have power there and it can sustain current flow because I checked it with an H11 headlight bulb which draws about 4 amps of current. Next up is pin 111, which is a white wire with a black trace as indicated by the W slash B shown on the diagram. Again, we should see 12 volts or battery voltage, which should ideally be about 12 volts. But if you have been testing for some time and the key has been in the on position or the customer has a bad battery, you may, you may get something a little lower than 12 volts. But you should keep in mind that you will be checking voltage at this wire with the key in the off position and your test light slash circuit loader will not illuminate as bright as it normally would because, because you are also energizing the coil in the ECM relay and creating a series circuit. The fact that our test light did illuminate and the relay did click and we do have 12 volts at pin 111 with the key off tells me that the circuit is just fine. So moving on to pins 119 and 120 which are right next to each other and are the same color wires making things a little easier for us. The wire color is red with the green tracer as indicated by the R slash G on the diagram. We are checking power to these two wires at pin 119 and 120 at the ECM with the key in the on position and the engine off because well it doesn't start. Now that I think about it we could have skipped proving out pins 111 and going straight for pins 119 and pins 120 because if the circuit for pin 111 is not intact then we won't have power at pins 119 and 120. So just proving out one of these two pins would also prove the integrity of pin 111 which is the ground side control for the ECM relay and yes pins 119 and 120 are capable of carrying current because they do have 12 volts and both circuits can light up my 4 amp H11 test light bulb. Ground side testing at pins 1, 115, and 116 is pretty straightforward and yes we do have good grounds on all three pins. So we're done here right? It's official we need a new ACM right? 
Well, that's what I was thinking, but it's not every day that I see a failed ECM, and I'm always very cautious when calling an expensive engine control module at default, especially when the customer is paying out of their own pocket. I need to be 100% certain. If this was warranty and Nissan was paying, I would just fire up the old parts cannon and start firing away. No, I'm just kidding. However, this ECM has way too many strikes against it for this problem to be caused by something else. Number one, we have no 5 volt reference at the mass airflow sensor, engine coolant temperature sensor, and our throttle position sensor. Number two, we have all our powers and grounds, at least according to our powers and grounds diagram, which could be wrong, and if it is, then I would blame Nissan for a misdiagnosis. Number three, we have no communication from our ECM. That's three strikes. If there is something that I should have checked and I did not, please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. I'd also like to point out that this PCM is not communicating over the CAN network. So let's take a look at that right now over the screen and I'll show you exactly what we got and how we tested the communication issue with this computer. All right, we got our scope. We got it dimmed down a little bit. Hopefully, that's um, good enough for you guys to see. Let's move this over a little bit. All right. Let's get hooked up on channel one. We are at five volts per division. Let's move that down some. That's good enough. Get ourselves a good ground. We'll use the same ground. That's probably a computer ground. We got one second on the, um, on the, on the scope. One second per division. Time base. Are we hooked up here? We're hooked up there. Uh, is our battery charger? Battery charger is connected. All right, so let's turn the key on, engine off. Still got no check engine light, bulb check. All right, so let's do our test real quick. Sorry. Um, I need a light for myself. All right, now I can see better. So I'm going to back probe this one here. I think the, um, the pink is can high maybe. I don't know what it is. But as you can see, we've got nothing, absolutely nothing there. And the blue might be can low, or it might be reversed. Either way, we've got nothing. This computer's not talking. Now let's go to the harness side. Let's stick my thingy. And you can see it's talking. Well, let's, let's change that from five volts to the to one volt per division. Well, it's not talking, but the network is talking. See, that's our can high, the blue. And that's our can low, pink. Now coming out of the computer, we've got zip, zilch, zero. I'm not gonna say nada. Not on. All right. That's it. This computer is no good. And we have no 5 watt references on the throttle position sensor, is what I checked. We have no 5 watt reference on mass airflow sensor. I checked that circuit as well. I didn't check anything else. Um, I didn't check the coolant temperature sensor or anything like that. But. That's a ton of evidence to condemn this computer. What do you guys think? What would you do? Leave your comments down below and let me know if that's enough evidence for you to condemn a computer as being faulty. Now, personally, I think that's plenty of evidence to condemn this ECM as a fault for our no-start issue. But we do have to keep in mind that the faulty ECM could be the result of another issue such as a shorted ignition coil, shorted throttle body motor which is directly controlled by the ECM, or some other output that is directly powered by the ECM, or maybe even indirectly controlled by the ECM but somehow is shorted and sending 12 volts into the ECM through an input that's not designed to handle 12 volts and could potentially fry the new ECM the moment it is plugged in. So it's a good idea to check our input circuits to make sure that there is no shorts. There's the part number. Yeah, yeah.
yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, coming in, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slap on everything. Swimming and sinking away, cause I got big ass. Okay, get our ground connected. Can low, horn inside. Can high, horn inside. Look at that, we got communication. Computer side now. Computer's talking, it's running his mouth. Can high. Blue wire. Can low. Pink wire. Alright. So this module is alive. And we're looking good so far. So now I'm gonna shut everything back down. Do a wire repair on my um two can wires. Connect them back up. Uh, that's backwards. We're gonna hook them up that way. Yeah. You guys probably didn't even see what I did there. Nope, I'm out of the frame. Anyway, we're gonna do a wire repair on the two can wires, and then um, we'll re we, we will configure this module and get this car started up, if we're lucky. All right, we're back. Let's get this scope out of here. Get it. Losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming up. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just want to win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's. Off the rapping, keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell it, most of y'all is flawless. Broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna cause the game's enormous. What's an ass? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know when knocking on the door is. Came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsche's coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, alright. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three. I'm on ten, ten, ten. Yeah. Let's see if we got our bulb check back. Yes. We have our service engine soon, light bulb back. Let me show you guys. I'm excited about that. That means we can probably communicate using our scanner. Well, the consultant. Not exactly a scanner, but consult. See that? Service engine soon. Right there. Yes. That was MIA a minute ago. All right. So let's get this sucker programmed. Oh, I dropped the glove box. Get back there. Come on, you going in the passenger seat. All right. Let's get my tripod set up. I'll just put it at me for now. Well, I'm not there yet, but I will be over there. Drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in up. my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Good. All right, so we are going to go into. Let's go into one system first. See if we can communicate with our ECM. Fingers crossed, we should be able to.
I'm wondering if this will um will even start because I don't see a security light. Why is it doing system call if I'm going into one system? Boom, we have communication. That is a good sign. That is a very good sign. Chain of ECU, immobilizer. That is our fault because um, this is a new computer. We need to reprogram the key. Hopefully that doesn't give us any issues. Reprogramming the keys on Nissan's Especially the older ones can be such a pain in the ass. I hope you guys can see this clear enough. Alright, so let's erase what we can erase. And see what comes back. Nothing came back. I wonder if this will start. They started up. Look at that. Oh, we got a misfire. It runs. We got no DTCs. We didn't have to reprogram anything. So you're telling me the ECMs on these are plug and play? That doesn't seem right. Hmm, let's turn it off. Hmm. This car runs like crap. I'm not diagnosing that misfire for free. It came in as a no start. I didn't know how it ran because, you know, no start. Crank, no start, no communication. Let me see if there's anything unplugged real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, there isn't anything unplugged, nothing obvious. Let's see if it's a um, misfire for just sitting for so long. Or see if we can blow it out. I don't think that misfire is going away. I hope that's not what blew the ECM. Maybe there's a coil that's shortened out somewhere. Cylinder four misfire. All right, at least we got some direction. Maybe if I have a used coil. Oh, the guy said he has some coils in the back. I'll throw it in. If um, if it's just a coil, I'll throw it in. If it's not a coil, then he's gonna have to pay for diagnosis. I'll do a quick part swap on that. But let's go ahead and reprogram this computer because I'm sure there has to be something. But why would there need to be, right? The 06 Ultima. Let's see what's in there under the reprogramming section. I'm surprised that the security light function isn't even, this doesn't have anti-theft? I guess it doesn't. Oh, you know what it is? The anti-theft is in the BCM one is. They probably don't talk to each other. These older ones? Oh, automatic selection. I gotta program the VIN number in. Dag on it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the VIN number in this computer at the very least. One N four A L one. Let's just go to manual selection for now. Ultima Sedan, two thousand and six. Select, confirm.
I have a feeling that the customer wasn't being completely honest with us. He told me that he changed the coils on his car and he changed the coils and the plugs and the misfire went away. He did something, the misfire went away and he never put the new ignition coils in. He put them back in the trunk. But now the car is still misfiring. So if he blows this computer because of a misfire, I don't know, thousand volts feeding back into the computer somehow, some way. I'm no electrical genius. But we'll see what we got. number in let's see what we can do with this thingy um, replacement of ECU reprogramming blank ECU before ECU replacement that's not an option because our old ECU was not communicating so we couldn't do before ECU replacement by saving the data from the old ECU so we'll just go to after ECU replacement precaution before starting programming workflow read following precaution completely and touch next install the latest released programming data to consult in case ECU has already been replaced without using this guidance function at first some operation may be additionally needed in case you want to perform reprogramming do not continue this operation so we're not doing reprogramming we are doing programming hopefully this isn't hopefully this doesn't break what we already have reprogramming slash programming data not found after installing the latest programming that reprogramming data retry reprogramming blah 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 alright so the car runs there probably isn't the, this is probably plug and play um I hope I'm not I hope I'm not wrong I'm gonna look in the computer in the service manual the ESM and see if there's any programming required for these ESM for these um ECMs. Typically if there is a is if typically if there is reprogramming required for these computers, you'll get a whole bunch of DTCs. Configuration, configuration, blah blah blah, immobilizer configuration, blah 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 blah. Configure this, configure that. But we have no DTCs except for the cylinder four misfire. So we're gonna call this done. Um We'll see what we got going on with selling the four misfire. It's there, it's not missing. So I don't know why the computer is telling us that some of the four is missing. You didn't see what I did there? Okay, it wasn't that funny. 
why don't we stick our amp clamp on each one of these and see which one of these suckers are not doing any work. two wires here is the ground for the ignition coils. So we're gonna stick our amp clamp around one of those two and we should be able to get a parade pattern off of one of those two ground wires. All right? Let me go grab the scope. That's not a good place for you. That's a little better. But are we in on the screen? Kind of. I'll just hold it up one minute. All right, so we're gonna change some settings around. There's the current. We want 10x. Voltage, current. Seconds good enough. Turn our amp clamp on. Zero it out. I'm thinking it's the top one here. Might be the bottom one. No, on my luck. No, it's probably the bottom one. The bottom one seems to have a lot of stuff going to it. But we'll know once we get something on the screen which one it is. Blows up, damn it. Got it. Let's start her up. backwards. How's it inverted? See if number four is contributing. Yeah, number four is dead. All right, let's stop it. Turn the car off and see what we got. Yep, we are missing a hump. See that? See, we're missing a hump. power supply to it or not so i'm just gonna go in this guy's trunk and get that new coil out put it on and um, see what we got
if we are missing the power supply, then I'm charging him extra for diagnosis. So let's go get that coil. You know what? He's got some brown box coils in his trunk. I don't particularly trust him. I happen to have some coils here that I took off of the car. That we changed all four coils and plugs on. Contributing member to the family. See that? All members of the family are contributing nicely. That's uninverted, that's inverted. It's hard to see, isn't it? See? That's better. I don't want it to be too much. I'm gonna keep the detail there. All four members of the family are contributing to the household. So, that's that. We're done with this car. Um, yeah, that's a fix. I came with auto fix, pal. Thanks for watching. Peace.